HQ for us is the sanctuary. Well, it's a clubhouse where we can come and just feel completely safe. Having all our gear here, you know, it is like a playground for a musician. HQ is, is all about hanging out and, and connecting with each other and being, just being really, you know, just being a, a, a part of the Metallica family. When we used to rehearse here, this used to be um, a building uh, full of uh, probably about a half a dozen rehearsal rooms. We started rehearsing here in the mid 90s and about two, three years ago, um, the guy who, who owned it was basically like, you know, look, I'm, I'm thinking of selling it, you're interested. This room that we're sitting in here is pretty much the only room uh, in the building that's untouched. And it is a clubhouse in the sense also that the four of us come down here and just, we get like naked emotionally. We just like spill our guts to each other here. And we have our fan club, our websites, our merchandise, all our offices, everything. So it's really one-stop shopping. The next exit down the freeway is, is the Grateful Dead. And we always heard about their kind of, their place. and. And this was sort of like a little bit of, of, of that based on their model. James and I were just sitting in the, uh, the control room and I had a St. Christopher's medallion around my neck. And he asked me what it was. I said, oh, you know, it's a St. Christopher's medallion. And I explained to him, you know, St. Saint Christopher is the patron saint of, of travelers. And you give someone a, a St. Christopher's medal or medallion to give them, you know, good blessings to, uh, during their travels wherever they might go. This particular medallion I had was a St. Christopher's medallion, but on the flip side, I had a surfer. And so what, what, what that signifies is, you know, whenever you go out surfing, you know, this medallion uh, will, will give you good blessings so that you'll actually come back. And then all of a sudden he said, Saint Anger. And I go, that's killer. A couple weeks later, we came up with some music that was just outstanding. And at one point we, we said, well, what are we going to call it? And James said, Saint Anger and it was a match made in heaven. The word anger, it, it just seems to, in some perverse way, sum up the 75 minutes of this record. It's not necessarily a negative energy. There's just a lot of aggressive anger, emotion, energy running through all these, the 11 songs on this record. And, and um, to me, it's just a great title that, that sort of captures the mood of, of this record. <laughs> I've worked with them since the Black Album. I'd say this has been the most relaxed. At least it ended up being the most relaxed. I think there was some, some great drama through the whole process, but it ended up being in a, an amazing place. Bob Rock basically said you know, a couple of years ago that if we were gonna make another record together, we had to completely reinvent the process. We could not go back to the plant where we'd made the last four records go back, put the drums in the same place, and that we had to completely reinvent the process, which is also part of the reason that we ended up buying this place, because we knew that this would really challenge us. This is probably the most stress-free album we've ever made, but by the same token, it's also the, one of the most aggressive albums that we've ever made. Where it comes from, I don't know, but you know, I'm not gonna get in the way of the flow. Metallica was fueled by negative energy for 20 plus years. In the last year, we have taken uh, through spending a lot of time working on ourselves and our relationships and, and all this type of stuff, we've taken um, and turned that around and now Metallica is fueled by positive energy that ends up sounding like what you've heard, but the energy in the environment that creates it is really positive. So I think everybody has this kind of weird thing that you can only create true artistic statements and all this type of stuff if you're always you know fighting we've been able to make this really ugly record under the most quote pleasant of circumstances in the last year in this wonderful clubhouse slash metal factor as we call it wash your back so you won't stab mine get in bed with your own kind wash your back so you won't stab mine get in bed with your own kind wash your back so you won't stab mine.
saying anger, it's brutal, it's punishing, it's dynamic, it's groovy, it's grooving hard. There's so many facets to the music. All I can say is, is, is that it accurately represents where our heads are at musically in 2003. It's deeper than ever. I mean, it's, it's level five. It's down there. It's the new Metallica, and it's also the new Metallica album, and, you know, make of it what you will. One word to span our career. Unbelievable. Tremendous. Grateful. A lot of fun. James Hetfield, rhythm guitar and vocals. Lars Ulrich, trommer. Kirk Hammett, guitar and uh, uh, attempted vocals. Roberto Agustin, Miguel Santiago, Simon Trujillo, Veracruz, <laughs> Kazoo. <laughs> mm. yeah! Bad back. Be cool. <laughs> and that goes to tour.